Las Vegas City in Nevada Las Vegas, or simply Vegas, is the 26th most populous city in the United States, as well as the most populous city in Nevada and the county headquarters of Clark County. The city is the largest city in the Greater Mojave Desert and serves as the hub of the Las Vegas Valley metropolitan area. Las Vegas is a world-famous large resort city that is recognized for its gaming, shopping, fine dining, entertainment, and nightlife. The city promotes itself as the world's entertainment capital, and is known for its massive casino hotels and related activities. Las Vegas evolved slowly at first due to the hard environment, scorching temperatures, barren soil, and limited water resources. The moniker Sin City is supposed to have sprung from the first two blocks of Fremont Street, where gambling, women of the night, and liquor were all readily available. While Las Vegas is known as Sin City as a whole, blocks 16 and 17 were the site of the city's first red light district. They were located at what is now Binion's Casino, which is bounded to the north by Stewart Street, to the south by Ogden, to the west by First, and to the east by S Casino Center. Las Vegas is also known as the entertainment capital of the world, the gambling capital of the world, the marriage capital of the world, the neon capital of the world, the city of lights, along with Paris, the city that never sleeps, along with New York, the city of second chances, and the city of lost wages. It's about as safe as any other metropolis in the United States. There are police on the streets, security in hotels, bouncers in nightclubs, and security cameras in casinos. The crime rate in Las Vegas is higher than the national average, and this is the brutal truth of the city. Las Vegas has a crime rate that is 33% higher than the national average. Thousands of new inhabitants flock to the city each year, not the hotels and casinos. Las Vegas has become one of the wealthiest communities in the country as a result of its rapid expansion and peculiar economic foundation, but it has also brought with it issues. Golden Gate Hotel and Casino, as the city's first casino, was responsible for a number of firsts in Las Vegas. In 1905, land for Golden Gate, formerly Hotel Nevada, was purchased, making it the city's first casino. Las Vegas has more billionaires than any other city in Nevada. Six billionaires with a collective net worth of $14.3 billion live in Las Vegas. The cost of living in Las Vegas is actually pretty low, making retirement relatively inexpensive. Home prices are reasonable, food and utilities are affordable, and there are plenty of cost-effective retirement activities in Las Vegas. For many people, Las Vegas has become an attractive destination to reside because of its low housing and plenty of service jobs. Families will love the Discovery Children's Museum and the Las Vegas Natural History Museum in downtown Las Vegas, as well as the adjacent Springs Preserve, which offers a variety of indoor and outdoor activities for children. The Best Places to Stay in Las Vegas Summerlin is a top-selling master-planned community on the valley's west side, with 22,500 acres of lush parks, various communities, and miles of hiking trails. Southern Highlands Sky Canyon Alliant Rhodes Ranch Mountain's Edge Southeast Henderson is a more settled community that has been regarded as having old charm by some. Summerlin is a newer, shinier neighborhood that may appeal to some but may not be suited for others. Nevada has no state income tax or inheritance tax, making it a suitable retirement location for those with a significant income. Many Las Vegas celebrities, including quarterback Derek Carr and coach John Gruden, call Southern Highlands home. Celine Dione has lived in Lake Las Vegas and will be relocating to the Summit Club in the near future. Steve Wynn lives in Summerlin's Billionaire's Row, where his $25 million property is on the market. Celine Dion is a celebrity who calls Las Vegas home. Celine Dion is a well-known Canadian singer with a voice that is unrivaled in the industry. Andre Agassi and Steffi Graf Imagine Dragons Carlos Santana Floyd Mayweather, Jr. Mike Tyson Holly Madison Chris Angel Andre Agassi and Steffi Graf
Many changes have occurred as a result of COVID-19, yet you may still enjoy the bar scene in Las Vegas. Although there are certain limits, constraints, and limited hours in Vegas, the majority of bars are open. Here's a list of bars open and ready to serve you on the Strip and in downtown LV. Hope you have enjoyed the video. Do like and subscribe to see more than 100 places.